Welcome back to my channel. We're going to read a book from Grimm's Fairy Tales called Mrs. Fox. There once was a sly old fox with nine tails who was very curious to know whether his wife was true to him. So he stretched himself out under a bench and pretended to be dead as a mouse. Then Miss Fox went into her own room and locked the door, but her maid, the cat, sat at the kitchen fire cooking and soon after it became known that the old fox was dead, saying someone, someone knocked on the door saying, Miss Pussy, Miss Pussy, how far are you today? Are you sleeping or watching the time away? Then the cat went and opened the door and there stood a young fox. So she said to him, no, no, Master Fox, I don't sleep in the day. I'm making some capital white wine way. Will, honor, will your honor be pleased to dinner to stay? No, I thank you, said the fox, but how is Miss Poor Fox? Then the cat answered, she sits all alone in her chamber upstairs and beware, bewails her misfortune with a flood of tears. She weeps till her beautiful eyes are red, for alas, alas, Mr. Fox is dead. Go to her, said the other, and say that there is a young fox come who wishes to marry her. Then up went the cat, tippity-tap, and knocked on the door, tippity-tap. I'm good, Mrs. Fox, within. Is good, Mrs. Fox, within, said she. Alas, my dear, what would you want with me? There waits a suitor below at the gate. Then said Mrs. Fox, how looks he? My dear, is he tall and straight? Has he nine good tails? There must be nine, or he'll never shall be a suitor of mine. Alas, said the cat, he has but one. Then I will never have him, answered Mrs. Fox. So the cat went down and sent this suitor about his business. Soon after, someone else knocked on the door. It was another fox that had two tails, but he was not better welcomed than the first. And after, and after this came several others, till the last one came that really had nine tails, just like the old fox. When the widow heard this, she jumped up and said, Now, pussy, my dear, open windows and doors, and bid all of our friends at our wedding to meet. And as for this nasty old master of ours, throw him out the window, puss, into the street. But when the wedding feast was all ready, up sprang the old gentleman all on all sudden, and taking a club drove the whole company, together with Miss Fox, out the doors. Some time after, however, the really old the old fox really died, and soon afterwards a wolf came to pay his respects and knocked at the door. Wolf, good day, Mrs. Cat, with your whiskers so trim. How comes your sitting? alone so prim what's that you're cooking so nicely i pray cat oh well that's bread and milk for my dinner today will your worship be pleased to stay and dine or shall i fetch you a glass of wine no i thank you mrs fox is not at home i suppose cat she sits all alone her griefs to bemoan, for alas, alas, Mr. Fox is gone. Wolf. Ah, dear Miss Puss, that's a loss indeed. Do I think she'd take me for a husband instead? Cat. Indeed, Mr. Wolf, I don't know, but she may. If you'll sit down a moment, I'll step up and see. So she gave him a chair, and shaking her ears, she very obligingly tiptoed upstairs. She knocked at the door, put the ring on her toes, and said, Mrs. Fox, you're within, I suppose. Oh, yes, said the winner. Pray come in, my dear, and tell me whose voice in the kitchen I hear. It's a wolf, said the cat, with a nice, with nice smooth skin, who was passing this way and just stepped in to see as old Mr. Fox is dead, if you'll take him for a husband instead. But, Mrs. said Mrs. Fox, has he red feet and a sharp snout? No, said the cat, then he won't do for me. Soon after, the wolf was sent about his business. There came a dog, then a goat, and after that a bear, a lion, and all the beasts, one after another. But they all wanted something that old Mr. Fox had, and the cat 
was ordered to send them all away. At last came a young fox, and Mrs. Fox said, Has he four red feet and a sharp snout? Yes, said the cat. Then, Puss, make the parlor look clean and neat, and throw the old gentleman into the street. A stupid old rascal, I'm glad that he's dead. Now I've got such a young, charming fox instead. So the wedding was held, and the merry bells sung, and the friends and rel relations, they danced and they sung, and feast and drank, I can't tell you how long. And that it was the end of Mrs. Fox.